Welcome to Woman to Woman Today. I'm Jen Maceda, your host, and we are here in the beauty parlor RLR studio in Framingham with our guru of beauty and hair and photography and everything amazing about women with Rachel. So thank you for being Hi. with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Rachel's the CEO um, and uh, executive producer and photographer and uh, she really makes this place happen um, and she started this place and she's a girl boss and entrepreneur um, and we're thrilled to be here. Um, and Andrea is gonna be helping us today with a complete transformation of hair, um, my hair. So uh, stay with us to watch that. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through a consultation, which is exactly how they treat each customer and each guest that comes into um, Beauty Parlor. So you wanna run me through some of the questions that you ask and- um, Of course. Great. So what are you looking to do with your hair today? Today I want a completely new, it's 2017, I want something that is new and fun and bold and strong and sexy, so all those things wrapped into one. Incorporated into color and cut, correct? Correct, yeah. And do you have any preference on whether or not you like warmth, whether you like cool, are you open to anything? I've been coloring my hair. I'm on, this year I'm turning 45, so that's another reason why I want a huge transformation. Um, but, you know, I, I've been coloring it for a while. I know that it tends towards brassy and orange if I go too light. So, um, you know, you guys are the experts, and I'm really up for anything. Um, but, you know, I do know that 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 warmth sometimes tends towards orangey. Her eye color. I mean, I, know. I feel like the darkness around her eyes looks really pretty because it makes that light blue kind of pop. So I feel like if you kind of keep the darkness at the top, that would look really nice. And then what were you thinking? Did you want to do a balayage? Some, some balayage, yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is have little pieces coming through all throughout your hair. Yeah. Um, having maybe a couple that pop in the front of like a nice caramel, soft, something different, but still very natural and will be low maintenance for you. Okay. And low maintenance, because you already know, because we've had this conversation. I've got yes, two kids. little kids, it right? A lot to get into the nine line. and seven. <laughs> so, right, um, it does. I mean, I'm I'm okay, uh, you know, with a with a curling iron and a flat iron. Um, happy to do those things on special occasions, but really, it's like a wash and go um, when I need to. And you had mentioned that you had extensions previously, and that you're looking to kind of make everything a little cleaner, change your look by not having so much length and volume anymore, which will be awesome too. Yeah, okay, good. I'm so excited. I am too. Thank you. That'd be amazing. Rachel, after an amazing experience um, in her salon, I have just, you know what, you can't even call it its salon because it is so much more than that. It has so many different services. People are everywhere smiling and engaging with each other, whether they're a customer or they're part of your staff. Yeah. Um, the environment here is, is one that is so welcoming. Um, and I want to get to the demographics, but um, we have some really great questions about how Rachel established this business because it's, it is very different than every other 
um, hair and makeup studio, and they're not always um, ingrained together like that. No. I mean, this is a really comprehensive business model. So tell me how you got started and um, what was the impetus to, to do this? So I started this company when I was 18 years old and I was in, at Hofstra University and I was a makeup artist trying to make some extra money and I, my friend Charlie left his camera in our dorm room. So I had very beautiful friends. I did their makeup and their hair and then threw them in this snowstorm with these leotards. <laughs> And I, for some reason, they let me photograph them, took those photos, and from there, you know, people in New York really gravitated to that concept, the makeup, hair, and photography, and people kept asking me to do the same thing for them. So I kept doing it and doing it and doing it. Eventually, I brought it back to Framingham because I felt like it was an open market. I didn't really feel like anyone was doing that here, um, and it was wildly successful. So our concept is very unique. We are a full-service salon combined with a full-service photography studio. I truly like to believe and I, I honestly think this is true. I have not found anything like this in the entire world. I haven't found anything like this. We're 4,000 square feet of unique business. Um, we're not just a photography studio that has you know, one makeup artist or one hairstylist. We have a staff of 30 plus people who work together every single day to achieve one common goal. And I believe that's why we're so successful. So it's yeah. a really fun, unique concept. How many people come in that say the same thing that I did? It's a new year or it's a new time in their life and they, they need this transformation. Um, is that a common thing? Yeah, I definitely. Well, so I think we're definitely known for our makeovers. For okay. sure, like absolutely. So I think people come to us when they want a, a huge life change. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people get stuck with their stylist and they do the same thing over and over and they come to us and they're like, I want to be fresh. So I do hear that all year long. But recently I have been hearing a lot of people coming in and wanting change. Um, a lot of people with skin problems that they want to kind of tackle those. We've been getting a lot of that. A lot with the photography. A lot of people in the new year, if they own a business, they want to rebrand. Yes. So we're getting a lot of that right now. Okay, that's good. What's yeah. the biggest beauty trend that you see for 2017? So I believe ombre has been in for a long time, mm -hmm. the balayage ombre. I think that's heading out, and I actually think multi-dimensional hair is kind of coming back in. What does that mean? So if you kind of look at my hair, you see how there's yes. like three different tones, but it yes. blends together well. Beautiful. I think this look is kind of coming back in. Okay. Um, and kind of like yours, like it's very dimensional, yes. um, but soft. So right. I think that's kind of coming back in. What's next? So the skincare is next. Anything else that's next for so, beauty parlor, for RLR studio? Yeah, a lot of people ask me that question. So for Rachel, there's a lot of things that are <laughs> always going on. People say that my brain is like a typewriter. It just never stops. But um, I do have big plans for this company. I will tell you that I'm happy right now. That's what I know for sure. What I know is that I will never open a second location. Okay. People ask me all the time, they're like, are you gonna open in New York? Are you gonna go in New Jersey? I'm, no. I like my one location and I like I come back to that thought I told you before, I am my business. Yes. So I have to be here. It's important that I be here. And I think a lot of business owners would frown upon that, you know, mm. saying like, you shouldn't be your business, but I am. Mm. I'm embedded in this Absolutely. company. You know, the music goes off. I'm like, well, the music needs to go back on. <laughs> you know, whatever happens, I'm here. Um, so what's next is just continuing doing what we're doing and working with new people and growing in the same way we have been. Sure. Yeah. Do you make any New Year's resolutions? So I make resolutions. I have a very specific way of doing my to-do list. So every day I set goals for myself. Okay. Um, but to say it again, I, so I feel like I've really conquered hair. I understand hair. Photography, I also really understand who my client base is. Um, I have a Reiki facial room, and my goal for 2017 is really to make that booming. Like, mm -hmm. I want to bring the best skincare to Framingham, and I want to give that to Framingham clientele. I feel like it's not existing here yet, yeah. and I want to bring that. And then also I want to focus more on videos, um, and I also want to focus more on working with other business owners to help them brand their company. That's a huge passion of mine. Okay. So that, that's kind of my goals. Yeah. Personal goals? Yes. That's kind of different. <laughs> I wanted to get a dog. I got a dog. So <laughs> I'm, I'm killing it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Check mark. Check. <laughs> and I did that in 2016, so I was there ahead of go. the game. <laughs> he's not here yet, though. No, he's no, coming. He's coming. He's coming. 2017, yep. the year of the dog. Yes. I love it. Mookie. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, we so appreciate you spending time with us today. I I'm grateful. I had an amazing time. Good. I'm uh, so glad. I had a good time 
with the girls. I had a good time with your customers. Good. The demographic here is not what I would have expected. Really? It, no, it is. It is you from expect? young to older oh, yeah. generations. You know, I and I think it's because you know I was talking to a couple of your customers that it's all about the energy that's here. It's about being the chill. hip and fresh yeah. and and fun and um, and loving women. Totally. That is what See, you that's do. what we're all about. Yep. Tr honest honest to god, we really build each other up. Yeah. This, I feel like in most salons there's an ego, there's a nasty attitude, competition. there's competition. Yes. I will not allow that here. Um, and I really think that all types of demographics cling to that. They want to be a part of that positive energy flow. Agreed. And it's special. It's magical. Well, you're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much. You have given a gift, and you are a gift Thank to you. the community. So it's Stop an honor. It. <laughs> you're killing me. Thank I'm Linda you. Barbara Walters. Thank you. Thank you yes, for crying. You're like staring into my soul, and I'm going to cry. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. That and your hair good. looks amazing. <laughs> it does look amazing. It looks amazing. so good. No, I'm so happy with it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live. Thank you for liking and commenting um, and joining us on Instagram, too. Uh, we are so proud of the entire community of viewers that we have, and we love your comments, and we love for you to share with us what you want to see. So uh, Woman to Woman Today is your show. Um, let us know how we can make it best for you. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you.